Hello tech people, I just got another STM32 board today and I'm about to program it. So come with me and see the different ways to program this STM32 F103C8T6, also called the Blue Pill. Before we start, we will install the STM32 Cube Programmer. It is the official software that is used to flash STM32 boards. No matter what method you are using, you might need it, so I recommend that you install it. All the links are in the description. Download and install the programmer from the STM website. You will need to provide your email address and get the download link in email. I would recommend to install it in the default folder because otherwise you will need to take extra steps to get this working in the Arduino IDE. Now, the first way is using the Arduino IDE and a USB to serial converter. This method is easier for beginners or people that are coming from the Arduino environment. So we will need a serial converter like the FT232 or a CH340G. Then we have to install the STM boards in the Arduino IDE. Go to File, Preferences and open the Additional Boards Manager URLs. Paste the URL for the STM32 boards and click OK. After the boards get installed, Open the board manager and search for STM32. Then install this one here. Make sure to not install the one here that says deprecated. When it is installed, we are ready to code the blue pill. Connect the serial converter to the microcontroller like this. VCC to 5 volts, ground to ground, RX to A9, TX to A10. Then set the top jumper pin to high. This puts the board in programming mode. To select the board, go to Tools, Boards, STM32, MCU based boards and select Generic STM32 F1 series. Then select the following options. Board part number as Blue Pill F103C8. Upload method as STM32 Cube Programmer Serial. USRT support as Enabled Serial and select your appropriate port number. I have here a simple blink program where the onboard LED is connected to PC13. Now you can click on upload. If everything is configured correctly, the code should upload and the onboard LED should start blinking. Make sure to move the jumper back to low before disconnecting the power or the code we uploaded will be erased. The next method is using the Arduino IDE with an ST-Link programmer like this. We have already installed all the necessary items in the previous step. Now, connect the ST-Link to the STM32 like this. SWCLK to DCLK, SWO to DIO, 3.3V to 3V3, and ground to ground. Put both the jumpers to zero as shown here. The only thing that needs to be changed is the upload method in the tools menu. Change it to STM32 Cube Programmer SWD. Port number does not need to be selected for this method. Then upload the code. And that's it. Now we have the LED blinking a little faster. The next method is using the USB port on the STM32 board and the Arduino IDE. This method is kind of a middle ground because we will still need a USB serial converter or the ST-Link to set up this method for the first time because we will need to flash a custom bootloader first. Once flashed, we can then upload programs using the USB port as much as we want. Download the bin file from the link in the description. I am using the generic boot PC13 because my board has the LED on pin PC13. That is how the files are arranged in this repo. Make sure to download the one for your board. Open the STM32 Cube Programmer. Go to the Erasing and Programming section. In this drop-down, select the method you are using. 
If using a USB to serial converter, select UART. If using an ST link, select that, then click Connect. Then come back to this section and click on Browse. Select the downloaded bin file and click Start Programming. Once done, click Disconnect and remove the wires. Now, to start using the USB port on the STM32, we need to install the Maple USB drivers. Open the link in the description and download the repo. In that, go to Drivers, Win and run InstallDrivers.bat. It will automatically fix the Maple drivers. Now connect the STM32 with a USB cable to your computer. To check if it works, open your device manager and see if you see a Maple device. Next, in the Arduino IDE, select the upload method as Maple DFU Bootloader. Modify the code a little and upload. When uploading, press the reset button on the STM32 when you see this screen. Sometimes, you might have to disconnect and reconnect the board to program it again. But that's it. Now we have an even faster blinking LED. The last method is using the STM32 Cube IDE and the ST-Link. If you are serious about learning and using the STM32 boards, this is the method for you. It will give you the most control over your STM boards. Like controlling all the pins individually. Setting the USB to whatever you want, even change the device name and IDs. It also has debugging tool that make development much easier. But I will not go into much details about how to set this up and use it step by step now because it will take a whole new video. Comment if you want a detailed tutorial on that. And that is it folks. Let me know if you have other methods of programming your blue pill. And a like and subscribe would be amazing.